I just saw a screening of The Messengers and the entire Chosen Christmas special. And this is going to be a unique spoiler-free review for me because I was actually on set for the episode of The Messengers. So this is going to come from a different perspective than normal, and I'm excited to tell you about it. People must know. Welcome to Durbania, I'm Durbin, and this is my spoiler-free review for the Chosen Christmas special and the new episode, The Messengers. I'm really excited to talk about this, and I'm really excited to talk about this because I do have this unique perspective on it. I wasn't there as they were filming the bands and the music, but I was there for the entirety of the filming of the actual episode, The Messengers. And so they brought my co-host Chris and I out to set. So if you go to the Chosen YouTube channel, you could search Chris and Chris and you can see a lot of our fun videos and there's a lot more videos that are gonna be coming on that channel. So I'm excited to share all of that with you. But they brought Chris and I out to the Utah set for the filming of The Messengers and they asked us not to read the script. So we are on set, having not read the script, seeing them film all of these scenes with really no context. And I think they did that because they wanted us to have our raw, real reactions to what we're seeing. And maybe even those real speculations of, I wonder how this is gonna play out. I wonder how this scene is gonna fit into the story. I wonder what unique take The Chosen is going to do with the story to really drive it home. And so it was really interesting to be on set, having not read the script, and to be watching them film. And it's interesting because one little scene that is really short and goes by in seconds as you're watching it takes about four or five hours to film where they're getting all the different angles, all the different performances. And then when you actually see it put together in the film, it's like, well, no wonder you took all your time on that. I mean, it looks really good now that you were able to put all that together. But it also, I mean, I know that. Like, I've been on film sets before. I know it takes a lot of work to knock out something that is incredibly small. But to actually be there on the chosen set, invited to be a part of like that entire process, it really brings home a new appreciation for all of that. So I'm really excited to get into this and give you kind of just my take. But overall, this is definitely worth your time. I mean, if you're where there's a Fathom event and you could see this on the big screen, the music is beautiful, the monologues are fantastic, the episode is great, and it's all big screen worthy. And if you're in another country where you don't have Fathom events and you're not gonna be seeing this on the big screen, I just want to encourage you not to be disheartened by that, and it is going to be so worth the wait. Overall, it is a great Christmas experience, and it really does a great job of bringing you into the real reason for the season. Now, I really did enjoy the music, and it's kind of fun for me because, you know, I've worked 14 years in Christian radio, so I could say this. If you're like a fan of For King and Country, uh, Matt Marr, and just all the bands that really are going to be present there, then I think you're going to be a fan of the music as they're singing these Christmas songs that we know and we're familiar with with. And what's really great about that is because we know them when we're familiar with them, we can actually sing along with them. But it's all of these bands with their unique flair on it, their unique sound. And so it's very cool, as well as the whole thing being shot on that Jerusalem set in Utah. So it has their unique sound and it has that very chosen look to it. So overall, that was really cool to get to listen to the music, to hear all these bands takes. And I definitely have some of my favorite standout songs and maybe I'll get into that in my spoiler talk that's gonna be coming up here really soon. But overall, I really did enjoy the musical experience and the concerts. It was very beautiful and it just, felt like Christmas, and I really enjoyed that. The other thing I liked was the monologues. They were deep, they were impactful, and they were very well performed by the actors that did it. I feel like the monologues themselves are very well placed within the music and all of that, because I really feel like in some ways, if you really listen to the monologues, it's dropping some hints and stuff about the episode so that when you get into the episode, it just gives you a little bit more context. So I think the monologues are very well used and very well placed throughout the Christmas special just to give you a little bit more meaning as you watch the episode. Now, the episode itself, it was really good. I really enjoyed seeing it going, oh, that's what they did with that scene. And you know, when they do some of the really tight close-up shots of things, like 
for some of that, I was really far away. Or other times, I'd already been in one spot for about three hours. And I was like, okay, I want to go explore something else real quick while they're just kind of reshooting this or that. So what was really cool was to see some of those close-ups that I didn't quite see while they were filming. And so some things I was watching, it's like, I know this is going to make sense when I watch the episode. But I wonder why they're filming this this way. And it was very cool to see little inserted shots in there and go, oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. That is so clear to me now, and that is so cool. The feel of the episode is great. First off, what it does is it just shows you kind of the realness, the humanity, and the grittiness of the birth of Jesus. And if you've come to expect that from The Chosen, then that is something that you really are going to get in this. I mean, you see it in the trailer where you have Joseph like shoveling the manure. That's not a spoiler because that's in the trailer. Jesus is born. Spoiler alert. Jesus is born. But the point is, is that with him shoveling that manure and with them in the manger and they're sweaty and they're grimy, what it really does is it brings you into the humanity of the scene. And what I love about that is it's the same thing with all the rest of the chosen. We're all human and we can relate to stress. We can relate to fear. Now this moment in the trailer. Remember what your messenger said, the first thing. I love that because even watching that in the trailer, that that line really resonated with me and stood out to me. Just watching the trailer, it's like, yeah, that is so real. So as you're experiencing this in the episode and Joseph is reminding Mary of what her messenger said to her, it's a very powerful moment and they do such a good job building up to that moment. So I'm trying to be very careful because I don't want to ruin or spoil anything for you. This episode does such a great job just bringing you into the dirt and the grit and just giving you a look of what it could have been like, what their faith journey could have been like. One of the other things I liked about Joseph and Mary is Sarah Ann and, and Raj Bond, they had such a great connection. And, and part of this is I did get to know them pretty well on set and, and I think we might have become friends. I do, I really enjoyed hanging out with them. But I, I noticed in real life they do have this friendship, they have this connection. And you can really see that come through, at least I could from this perspective, I could see that friendship and that connection coming through in their performance and they really did a great job with that. One of the things that I really liked is there's a little bit of a love story. It's not like super mushy or anything like that, but it is a good love story between Joe Joseph and Mary, and they just have these really great tender moments together. And so you can really just see that their friendship and that, and that chemistry come through and it feels so real. And so I love seeing that in this film or episode. I keep calling it a film because I saw it on the big screen, but I realized Dallas made fun of me. I called it a movie while he was around. He goes, a movie? He's like, okay, I get it. Christmas special, it's an episode, but it's on the big screen. I can't help it. And if you notice in the trailer, we do see young Mary and we do see Vanessa, our current Mary on The Chosen, older Mary. And I think they really do a great job with the two different timelines. And that's one of the things that I really liked is how they took those two timelines and they worked together. And it just made what we were seeing with young Mary and Joseph more powerful as we're also taking a look at what's going on here in the future. Now, something else kind of interesting about the messengers is the humor. The Chosen has such a great sense of humor and humor throughout, and there was a lot of good humor in this episode as well. So, as I'm watching this episode, it did a great job bringing me into the emotion. I won't say that I cried, because I don't think I cried, but I definitely had that lump in my throat at moments, especially as it's really reminding me the reason for this season. But then also there was just so much joy and fun with the music and the monologues. All of it I just think does a great job of calling to your mind, this is what Jesus did for us, and this is why we're celebrating so much this season. So if you're really looking for something to bring you into the Christmas spirit, I really think heading out to your local theater where you have Fathom events and this is playing, it's definitely worth your time. So thechosen.tv slash Christmas, you could go there, look at theaters that are near you. Hopefully they're not sold out and you get your tickets. So I would say get those tickets as soon as possible because it hasn't even opened yet and it's like broken just about every single uh, record Fathom Events has. So I would definitely check that out. And again, if you are in another country where you don't have Fathom Events, 
Trust me on this, you are gonna be very happy when you get to see this. So I just wanna let you know, this is a fantastic experience. I really enjoyed it, and it was very cool to have that perspective of being on set and then seeing the finished product. So I'm super excited to hear from you when you see The Messengers. Let me know in the comments what you thought, and are you super excited to see this? Let's talk about that right now. While you're there, hit that subscribe button to become a Drabanian. Hit that bell by the subscribe button so you're notified when I do my spoiler talk for the chosen Christmas special and The Messengers, and I got some pretty big plans uh, for that with some other great Great YouTubers so can't wait to bring them on this channel and we are gonna dive into the messengers spoiler talk all of it so be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you're notified when that happens I'm Durbin thanks for checking out Durbin